Hey you guys, I want to share with you some supplement information. We haven't done supplements for a long time. Um, here's the gum. I'm chewing today, by the way. Big leaf, chew, bubble gum. Grape, bubble gum. So, so get your pen and paper, and first thing on your notes, make a note to self that food is your best supplement. Whatever you can get in healthy food is way better than popping capsule or tablet, supplement or tablet. So, that being said, I've noticed that since I've tried to go organic, I think I I feel better. But it's really difficult to go totally organic. So for the time being, I buy organic fruits, organic vegetables, organic eggs, organic half and half creamer for my coffee, uh, organic um, seaweed chips, organic... Uh, um, grass-fed beef, um, so, but we still eat canned chicken and canned tuna, and my husband loves hot dogs and White Castle and all that stuff, so I don't know if we'll ever get to totally organic, but just by the little change we've made, has made a huge difference, I do believe. And note that when you start going organic and you're getting rid of all this toxicity from your body, you're not going to feel good because your body is reacting. As you're getting rid of to toxic chemicals, your body, you, you feel like it's, you have like a little flu symptom. But anyways, you can research all that. Um, so, that's a good place to start. Like, if you're thinking of it, you want to feel better, you want supplements, what you can do right away without the supplements is be sure you're adding good new food with good nutrition. And I'll try to start choosing organic fruits and veggies and cheese and dairy and that. And grass-fed beef. Okay. And I know it's not easy. We each have to decide what's going to work best for our, for us and our family. Okay. And I started noticing a huge difference in feeling better when I started supplementing, not with, not with capsules or tablets, with phytonutrient-rich food. Um, meaning the berries, blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, I do believe garbanzo beans are in there also, um, there's a whole list if you search for phytonutrient, I believe it's P-H-Y-T-O, phytonutrient rich foods. You can't go and buy a phytonutrient supplement. There's something in phytonutrient-rich foods that are like a um, Kickstarter. What do they call that? Um, like, like kickstarts everything. I forgot. Anyways, it seemed like when I started consciously every day have a cup of phytonutrient rich fruits and a huge salad leafy greens um, and um, olive oil and vinegar for a salad dressing though you know, everything wasn't perfect in my diet I, I felt better 
So the best way to explain it right now is for you to research phytonutrient-rich foods, get an idea of what they are, start eating them every day, and do your best to educate yourself. And again, the, the best I got out of it was, after researching it weeks and months ago, was that you can't buy it in a bottle, but for me, it was like it was the foundation that allowed other things to work properly, if that makes sense. So anyways, I get these organic frozen fruits. I got this at Sprout. I have a cup of these a day. Um, um, and speaking of organic foods, this spirulina, we used to get it at Whole Foods. It's a Whole Foods brand. Or you can get it at, order it on Amazon also. This gently removes, there's stuff in here that's like a magnet that carries toxins from your body. So read up on this. It has um, chlorophyll, um, vitamin A, spirulina, a few other things. But the combination is such that this grabs onto toxins. I'm thinking of mercury. It's an easy one. And, and kind of drags them out of your body. But do your research. My hope is that it, I take, they say to take six tablets a day, throughout the day. My hope is that all this toxic stuff that comes with canned goods and packaged food, this is helping draw it out of my body. So, do your research on that. Um, but, again, I want to talk to you about gut health. You guys know I'm big on probiotics. I, th I don't think I mention enough, though, about prebiotics. So, make sure you make a note of this. You have to, your gut has to have the right environment for the probiotics to work. Onions is a simple food that gets your colon and your gut, gets it a right environment in there for the probiotics to work. There are other food things that are also considered prebiotics, so you can research that. But it's just easy for me to do onions. So for some reason, that's all I can remember. Um, and so I usually have onions in the morning with breakfast and I have onions during the day with a salad. Then these probiotics, the probiotics help restore good bacteria to your intestines and your tummy, all your gut. Because over the years, all the antibiotics, notice this is probiotics, all the antibiotics that we take when we are sick kill also kill off the good um, bacteria. And that's why we get worse and worse or sicker and sicker as we age and our immune system it wreaks havoc because We've ruined the bacteria environment in there. This helps to restore it. I get this brand of probiotics from Amazon Prime. It's nice and easy because you can take them with food and you can throw them in your purse. They don't have to be refrigerated all day long. So it's just very convenient. Some probiotics you have to take on an empty stomach. They have to take refrigerate. You have to stay refrigerated. These are just convenient. So do your research on probiotics. And I do believe there is a pro there are bottles of this that you can buy that include prebiotics and probiotics in one. So you might be interested in that. So remember, you need to have a healthy gut digestive intestinal system or all the vitamins and supplements and food that we're going to talk about 
will never absorb properly. So you might really want to focus on getting a good, healthy digestive system so that all the other stuff that you incorporate will really be absorbed well. So, caprylic acid capsule. This wards off. This is an antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral supplement. Didn't know how much, how, how well it worked until I've been out of this for like a couple weeks. Felt terrible because they were out of my brand. I had to get a quickie, different brand. I feel so much better. I believe there's so much fungus in our food. For me personally, I think the antifungal is what has helped me. But again, do your research on caprylic acid and see if this might be right for you. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional health person in any way. I'm just your everyday housewife, homemaker, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, sharing with you what I found to be helpful. This odorless garlic, I take these like three or four times a day. I have excellent blood pressure because of it. This odorless garlic helps, or regular garlic, but who wants bad breath? Regular garlic helps lower blood pressure. It's an antiviral, antifungal, on top of a lot of stuff. Do your research. This is like my little miracle tablet every day. And of course, odorless makes it nice. And um, essential enzymes, we get this in Amazon Prime. Anyone without a gallbladder, anyone with tummy trouble, if you eat and every time you eat you feel terrible, that may be a sign you need digestive enzymes. It's just as as we age, our metabolism, our body gets sluggish. And this helps digest stuff. It helps digest sugar, fats, carbs, uh, proteins. There's just like another miracle worker for me. So do your research. Um, um, milk thistle. We take this twice a day, every day. This specifically cleanses out. Somehow it cleans your liver in a very unique way. Please do your research on milk thistle and see if this might be right for you. But our liver is important, and I can never go like on a liver fast or a liver cleanse, these three-day liver cleanse things. So we do this every day. Help cleanse out our Thanks for watching.